In this lesson, we will look at the mirror command in AutoCAD. I'll start by drawing some line segments. I will create a diagonal line that will serve as my mirror line. Then I'll draw some other line segments to represent the objects to be mirrored. This is the mirror icon on the Modify toolbar. You can also type mirror on the keyboard or use the alias, which is MI, to initiate the command. I will select the icon and you see that I'm prompted to select the objects to be mirrored. So I'll select these line segments. Press Enter and now I'm prompted to define the first point on the mirror line. This is the line I want to mirror about, so one point on that line could be an endpoint. I will turn on the running object snaps and snap to that endpoint. You can now see the effect of the mirror command. The rubber band line extending from the selected point to the cursor represents the mirror line. I want to mirror about the diagonal line, so I need to select another point on that line. Any point on that line will have the same effect. So, I could choose the midpoint or the other endpoint. I'll select the endpoint. Now, I'm being asked if I want to erase the original line. Yes or no. The default is no, so I'll press enter to keep the lines. This ends the mirror command. Now I will press undo and erase the diagonal line. Typically, you will mirror about a horizontal or a vertical line. There is a useful mode which can make this easier. It's called ortho mode. Ortho stands for orthogonal, and when you're in ortho mode, you're constrained to select a point that is either vertical or horizontal from the last selected point. To demonstrate, I'll draw a couple of lines. I'll start with an arbitrary point, and then turn ortho mode on. Now, I can only draw horizontal or vertical lines. I'll select this point and then create a horizontal line. Press enter to end the command. Now I will type MI and press enter. This time I will mirror about the vertical line. First select the line segments. Press enter and then snap to the endpoint of the vertical line. As long as I'm in ortho mode, I do not have to snap to the other endpoint. I know this is a vertical line, so I can pick any point which is above or below my first selected point. Left click and press enter to end the command. So that is mirroring about a vertical line. Mirroring about a horizontal line is very similar. To conclude, I would like to point out that the mirror command can be used when you want to mirror objects about a line in the XY plane. Therefore, the mirrored objects will also be in the XY plane. However, if you want to do a three-dimensional mirror, there is another command called Mirror 3D. I will not demonstrate this command, but it gives you more flexibility in mirroring. This concludes the tutorial on the use of the mirror command in AutoCAD.